Hey Z Stars, what's good in the proverbial hood? It's your girl Zara, popularly known as Epic Zara, and we're back with another episode of Dating in Nigeria. This is part two. Now, if you've been here for a while, then you might remember the one I did a few years ago, which is, again, dating in Nigeria, dating Nigerian men, part one, and I'm going to link down the top right corner so you know you can get up to speed, so to speak. Because this particular part, we're going to go into a lot more detail and we're going to look at very specific types because your girl's been dating for quite some time. You know, I've been chilling, chopping, living this baby girl life, and I've met a lot of different types of men. So without further ado, let's get into this. But of course, before we do, please be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about my hair. Let me know what you think about my outfit. Please be sure to share this video with anybody who can relate to this or anybody who's trying to relocate to Nigeria. And last but never ever can be least, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on. So you know every time I post a new video. And follow me on Instagram via at Ethic Zara. I'm gonna put that like right here. Follow me on Instagram, guys. Go like my post, DM me, what have you. Anyway, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Before we begin, I must give you all this disclaimer. I'm speaking about my experiences. Please don't be offended. Don't be extra. Don't be commenting. Chances are if you're commenting like, Oh my gosh, why are you saying that? You probably fit that shoe, so period. Anyway, let's get into the video. So now we're getting into one of my favorite types and one of the most interesting. I feel that I learn a lot from this particular type. Can you guess what this type is? You guessed right. This type is the billionaire. Whether it's billionaire in Naira, I know a few dollar billionaires that have been on my case, but those are stories for another day. In fact, if you guys want some detail about my very unique experiences in this country, if you feel I should do story times, please drop some green emojis down below. If I do do them, they'll be on my new lifestyle channel, which I will try to link in the card right here to the right, top right corner. I will also link the channel down below. Anyway, that short digression aside, the billionaire, now the billionaire is divided into subcategories because there are many different types of billionaires in Nigeria. And the first billionaire that we see in the wild is the married billionaire. Now this type is very married, very forward. <laughs> lets you know that he's married and lets you know that he's trying to have a side piece. I've encountered many of this type in this Nigeria and it's been quite the roller coaster. Now one billionaire in particular that's very married told me straight up, he was like, you know, I've liked you for a few years. I'm really interested in you. I've always wanted one wife and one girlfriend. That's literally my dream wife. And I could even help you find a husband. You know, we can control him and we could still be doing our thing on the side. Now to say I was shook is an understatement. <laughs> I just could not fathom that somebody would exhibit that kind of candor and literally just tell me straight up, like this is what I'm trying to do, girl. Now I can appreciate the honesty because a lot of these types are not very straightforward, which we will get into. But that is one example of the married billionaire. Again, you know they're married. They wear their ring with pride. They're not trying to hide that they're married, but they also want that sexy side piece. Basically, they have a two car garage and they're trying to fit you in it. Anyway, moving on to the next type of billionaire. Hey Z Stars, so now we're taking a break from our regularly scheduled programming to announce to you all that I finally have four beautiful e-publications all about my natural hair and what I use to make it thrive. Personally, in my natural hair journey, I've put together a recipe bible of 40 plus delectable formulas that can be used to grow your hair exponentially. Now, since I've been using these formulas, I've literally been able to see consistently like one inch of hair a month, and I literally trim my hair every few weeks. So it's been growing insanely quickly and in a really healthy, brilliant way. 
Now what excites me the most about these recipes is that they're pretty much priceless and I literally could be selling them to you in the form of hair products, but I've decided to give them to you at a giveaway price. So you're gonna pay $20 for this recipe Bible and that's still with a 20% discount. So get it while supplies last. To accompany that, I have my Holy Grail book, which is a very detailed publication all about my absolute favorite hair products. If you want to have access to everything that I use on my hair that works extremely well, that I literally cannot live without, then you have to purchase that publication. Following that publication is my extreme hair growth calendar, which I use every day to keep track of my hair and essentially do my regimen. Now I'm the kind of person that generally struggles with keeping a very solid hair regimen, but since developing my calendar, which comes in five versions by the way, I've been able to utilize my recipes even more effectively and again see more consistent growth and retention. Something that I'm extremely excited about. Now to accompany that, I have my hair growth planner, which again, you all can get in the link here in the top right corner. I'm going to link everything actually. So y'all can easily access those and treat your hair in a way that's never been treated before. I'm going to share some reviews on screen and then we'll get back into these crazy Nigerian men. Here are some reviews from people that have already purchased the books. You can pause to read all of them. Next on the list is The Divorced Billionaire. So The Divorced Billionaire is very divorced. He's probably a major public figure. They tell you they're divorced. You can even Google it and it will tell you they're divorced and they're not trying to hide it. Because they're divorced, living their best life, they're running around with the hottest tings in town. You feel me? Now this divorced billionaire likely has children, anywhere from two to five kids. The children might not be that much younger than you. The children are probably going through some of the same things you are currently going through because again, they're not that much younger than you. But hey, because this person is very divorced, they have your time. The only issue with the divorced billionaire is because of the grueling divorce, they may feel inadequate in certain ways. And then aside from that, the focus is heavily on the children, which is not a bad thing, but it might mean that you're there for a good time and not a long time. So bear that in mind if you encounter the divorced billionaire, but also bear in mind that this is the marriageable type because I mean, they've been through it once, they're not trying to mess up again and they might wanna marry that beautiful young trophy wife. Then you have your never married billionaire. Now, this billionaire is like citing the Yeti. This is rare, y'all. This is extremely rare. Where will you see a successful man that is not married? Please tell me because I want to know. <laughs> no, but on a very serious note, jokes aside, this is actually quite rare because most of the billionaires are wifed up, but there are a few that are not married. Now, if he is not married, you need to ask yourself, is there something wrong with him? Now there's one I encountered actually. He's friends with my uncle. He knows my uncle very well. And he was like obsessed with me, low key like love bombing me. And he's not married, but he's of marriageable age. So I got to wondering what exactly is wrong with this one. He's crazy y'all. He's like batch crazy. My is crazy as f so, I mean, that's why he's not married. If you want that story, drop some orange emojis down below. I will gladly tell it, I don't care. So the never married billionaire, usually there's something wrong with him upstairs. On rare occasion though, he just hasn't found the right one. And you could be the right one, sis, or bro, or non-binary sibling. Next, you have one of my favorite types and one of the scammiest types, the baby mama billionaire. Now this billionaire has a baby mama, but that baby mama is actually his wife. I've encountered a few of these where they'll say, oh yeah, I'm not married, I just have a baby mama. And you're like, mm, okay, well, based on the way you live your life, there's maybe an 85 to 90% chance you're not married. That baby mama of a ting is no guarantee. Yo. So let me give you like a brief little story. If you want the full story, drop some pink emojis down below. But one of the billionaires that was on my case was telling me, oh yeah, sorry, I just have a baby mama. Would show me pictures of his 
his kids, everything, everything. Very believable though, until I don't know where I found myself, how I found out that he was married, but if you want that story again, pink emojis, because I can't spill all of that tea in this video, it'll be too long. But your girl found out he was married and I was running for the high hills, bruh. I was running. If he happens to not be married and it's literally a baby mama situation, because funds are at stake, note that that baby mama is likely batch crazy. So if you know what's good for you, well, you're better off looking for the divorced billionaire or the never married billionaire that's not a lunatic on some serious ish. <laughs> so moving on to the next category of billionaire. Next you have, I mean, every Lagos babe's favorite, the sugar daddy billionaire. He might be married, he might have a baby mama, he might be divorced, what's your own? You're only there to collect his money. And that's the aim for many a babe in this country. And at the end of the day, he's only there to spoil you and collect his own type of currency, if you know what I mean. <laughs> For me, personally, I'm not about that life. As much as I like to collect things, duh. Like, I'm not about the whole sugar daddy billionaire life. They're crazed as a bit much. And some of them are kinda pervy. In fact, one of mine who gave me like quite a bit of money, I won't tell you the amount, cause I can't cast. He was just a creep. And I couldn't even bring myself to be around him. Cause unprovoked, he would just be saying the most raunchy stuff. It's like, ew bro, like get a life. Now our last, in the billionaire category is the glucose billionaire. Now this is probably my all time favorite. Again, this one can be like pretty much any one of the types, but this billionaire just wants to sew into your life. Now I did talk about this particular type in my previous video, but I felt it was necessary to re-include him here because at least for me, Glucose Guardians have been a major component in my life, yo. We thank God for Glucose Guardians, y'all. But um, they just want to sew into your life. Maybe they see that you're a hardworking, brilliant, ambitious young person, and they genuinely want to see you succeed for no other reason than to see you succeed. They admire those qualities in you and want to nurture them and be a part of your success story. Now that particular billionaire is actually, like I said, my favorite type and I have a lot of glucose guardians, period. <laughs> I genuinely appreciate people who support young people for the sake of supporting young people because they recognize that ultimately we are the future and we have so much to offer. It's really so beautiful. Next, we have the young and ambitious. Now these types are typically 25 and under and they're bloody rich. Now I say young and ambitious because they are young, but they will go for any babe they feel is hot enough. Now, personally, I've had a lot of young people approach me like people 25 and under, even sometimes like 18, 19, 20 year olds, I'm like, do y'all know how old I am? Number one. Number two, do y'all know how old I am? <laughs> when I say that, they're like, age is nothing but a number. And I'm just like, whoa, it's getting hot. It's getting toasty. But I do admire those types. Now, why are they so confident, you might ask again? Because they're extremely wealthy, typically. Or they're really, 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 really attractive and really refined. Now, with the young and ambitious, you have the young and ambitious from a rich family. He's using his papa's money to flex and to hook you, sis. I mean, if he's spraying you with dollars, won't you go there? And then of course you have those that are successful independently, maybe like a crypto mogul or something or any other thing really. And oft times you'll see those ones with the most premium, the creme de la creme of the babes in the land. I just be looking like, oh, see me see what holler like bruh how did you hook that baddie our next category is the rich and famous now again this category is divided into several types because it's a rather broad category and i've had many a rich and famous in this nigeria approach me for one thing or another. Now the first type I'm going to highlight and probably the most common for most people is the musician. Or as some people might say, the music shun. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, the musician. Now the musician can have any babe he likes, but I mean, a lot of premium girls don't really go his way because nobody wants that community, you know. <laughs> 
Of course, as a musician, a lot of musicians approach me, but usually there's a mutual respect because they know I'm an instrumentalist. So the way they try is significantly more subtle than the way other guys might try me. But um, I'm not trying to be with a musician, most likely. Anyway, but who knows, time will tell, right? Next, we have the social media personality. Now this particular character has a larger than life social presence and a huge social circle to accompany that larger than life social presence. Now if you're like me and you're an introvert, though you're on social media, then this is not the type for you because they have to be everywhere. Everyone wants to work with them. Everyone wants to do business with them. Everyone wants them at every party promoting their ish. Everyone wants them everywhere. And plenty of girls want them for clout. Personally, I don't shy away from competition because where's the competition? They don't really get concerned about competing with other women. I mean, everyone literally has their own lane. If somebody is not interested in me, there are dozens of other people that are. And if I'm not interested in someone, there are dozens of other people that are. So I mean, it's really not that deep in my humble opinion. I just keep it pushing. But I also don't like to be put in those kinds of uncomfortable situations where I'm now having to assert my position. Because I feel that my guy should be asserting my position on my behalf. I'm not finna be doing the most trying to let people know this is my man, that's ghetto. But um, that digression aside, social media personalities might push you to that corner, depending on the voracious appetite of the women that surround him. So moving on to the next type. The next type is the business personality. Now we have a few like really prominent business personalities in Nigeria. I mean, I can name a few, but if I name these few, I might cast small. So let me not even name a few, but think of the business personalities, you know, the people who are not just prominent moguls, they're famous for being moguls. And yeah, like I said, we have a few of those in this country. So. Now the business personality, because of the profession, is not gonna wanna be doing too much. I mean, they're gonna try and keep it cute, keep it coded, because they're not trying to damage their reputation or their image. Now, if you're gonna date this type and this person is not happy to be outside with you, then know that they're not the one for you. The person should definitely feel comfortable being in public places with you. If they don't, keep it pushing, girl, because maybe he's spending time in public places with somebody else. Now this type can be a bit stingy, quite stingy because they're always counting the money that they're spending. I mean, as a business person, you have to be frugal, but at the same token, you have to be prepared to spend money in the right way to make money. So it makes sense, but I mean, if you're trying to live your best baby girl life, this might not be the type for you. Next, we have the athlete. Now for at least in my own life, this athlete also falls under the category of young and ambitious because a lot of athletes in this country are quite young and they're quite ambitious because they're athletes and babes be falling all over them. They feel they can talk to anyone. If you guys hear some of the crazy stuff that athletes in Nigeria have said to me because they're like, yeah, I'm this sh you'll just be like, ah. This kind of boldness, like, are you, are you giving a course on how to be courageous? Because I'm finna take it. But um, it's actually a bit out of control. I do like athletes though, because they're brazen and I am quite athletic myself. I used to play soccer, if you didn't know. But yeah, athletes, they're cool, they're fun. You have to go to their matches, which is another place to just be be exposed to be casted because I mean, everyone's gonna be seeing you at their matches and going to be associating you with them, which can be troublesome at times, speaking from experience, but it's okay, you know? <laughs> and next you have the politician. Now this politician is probably married, let's just call a spade a spade, sis, bro, non-binary sibling, gender fluid sibling, but they're always looking for some young, sexy babes. Now I can't cast, but I have plenty of stories about plenty of politicians in this country. They are not the same way that they are on television. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much for free. But if you guys would like some stories about politicians, please put some black emojis in the comment section down below. That will likely be on my other channel because like I said, I'm trying to move things over there. 
trying to just make that channel all about living my life in Nigeria, America, the United Kingdom, wherever I happen to be. Obviously I'm American, you guys know that, but I'm first generation. American. I mean, my parents are American too, but they're naturalized. I was born and raised in America. But I digress. Let's continue our little breakdown of the politician. So if you do honest work, if you're a hardworking person, the politician will definitely hire you and pay you in dollars. They will pay you in dollars though, just to impress you. Hey, I don't mind because I'm always looking for work. I'm always looking for money, period. No matter how much money I have, I'm not the type of person to just like rest on my laurels and take the peace. I enjoy working. I enjoy achieving and reaching certain milestones. So work for me is not going to stop anytime soon. But that's one of my favorite things about the politician. They're ready to come out of pocket very well if you do a job, if you're a service provider. Like I said, just to impress you. But when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So if things start to get a little bit murky or they start making some intentions known, I would advise you to run. Unless you're about that life, in which case, I mean, you can remain there or collect if you like. I mean, can't be me, bruh, but I won't judge you if that's what you want to do, you feel me? Now moving on, we have the desirable one. Now this person may not necessarily be rich. They may not necessarily be famous. They may be a little bit of both or none of the above. <laughs> but this person is extremely desirable. Now, usually this is the kind of person that leaves babes. I can't really say this on YouTube, but mm -mm -mm, <gasps> Matthias, if you get what I'm saying, wink, wink. I'm bad at winking, don't judge me. This person leaves a lasting impression where the sun don't shine. And typically that's why they're so popular with the ladies. I have a few people in my circle that are like this and I've seen many a thing because of the way women want to kill themselves over them. So one of my friends and let me, I, wow, I can't tell that story all cast. People that know me will know who I'm talking about. So if you want some of those raunchier stories, again, we're going to do another emoji, drop some yellow emojis down below, but got some juicy stories about the desirable one. Anyways, moving on to further describe this type. Now, this desirable one is the one that everyone wants. Very attractive, well-built, insanely beautiful, and again, can throw it down between those sheets. I obviously can't tell you whether they can or not because I don't really mingle with them. This person is so wanted to the point that women obsess over this person. Now, I tend to attract this type unintentionally because I'm not really about that life. The kind of obsession that is exhibited where their concerns is the kind that can cause a babe to pour acid on another babe. So see you, look, I'm very pleased with what God has given me here. I don't want wahala, please. I don't want any issues. So I tend to avoid this type. And if I were you, I'd avoid this type like the plague or you might find yourself in a cycle of lust, a cycle of obsession, a cycle of bondage, because you can't break free of your passion for this person. It's like they carry juju in their back pocket because I'm not understanding. But I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but please, let's be moving on to the next category. Next, we have the village champion. Now this village champion is either a prince in his native land or some like guy like that, like some literal village that got rich doing honest business or something shady, who knows? And I mean, he's still ratchet. The Nigerian equivalent of ratchet is Raz. He's still Raz, but he's bloody effing rich. So foreign babes be on him. I know a few men like that. It's very fascinating the way that certain types of women flock to them, even though their mental capacity is lacking. I mean, I get it. Funds day, like funds day, day, day. <laughs> But I don't know if I could be comfortable conversing with somebody who can't meet me where I'm at intellectually, no matter how much funds are there, especially because those types of people put restrictions on their significant others that are rooted in their backwards mentalities. So, I mean, if you're about that life, be about that life with your full chest, but it can never, ever be me, ever. 
Next, and we talked about this in the last video, which again is in the top right corner, is Yahoo. But I've encountered many different types of Yahoo. So I would like to talk about them. Now, of course, in the last video, we spoke about Yahoo Plus. We spoke about normal Yahoo, which of course you guys will have to click on that video and watch it to see exactly what I'm talking about. In this video, I'd like to expand to the Yahoo nigga that hides his business with legitimate business or pretends to do crypto. So there are Yahoo niggas that hide their Yahoo business under the guise of legitimacy because they actually do have legitimate business endeavors. But if you really like think critically and look well, you will realize that those legitimate business endeavors cannot be bringing them the billions that they're possessing and flashing about around town, bro. Like, hell nah. It doesn't work like that. It didn't used to work like that too. Guys, I know my Nigerian accent's dry, don't judge me. But just know that those ones are scammers obviously using legitimate business to cover their tracks it's a very effective tactic and it works a lot of the time because yeah cc doesn't look for them well. but please young people i caution you nigeria has laws of extradition so if you're doing yahoo and you offend somebody in the united states of america the fbi cia whoever the heck can literally come here and pick your ass up so i mean if i was you i wouldn't even be doing it period like it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Your IP address is traceable, bruh. It's traceable, boo-boo. <laughs> now next, of course, we have the Yahoo nigga that pretends to do crypto. He'll have hella money in his crypto. He's saying, yeah, I be trading. But then you'll be talking to him about crypto and he won't know what the hell you're talking about. It's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it really crypto you're doing? Or are you a fraudster? Obviously the fraudster. Now that leads me into my next category, the tech guru. Now I know a few of these because coding, being able to read Java, CSS, and other types of computer languages are a really big deal in Nigeria. So there are a lot of people getting bloody effing rich because they're getting seriously heavy jobs with multinationals just to be typing on the computer. Those ones, they make sense so, but they might not have your time. And then they also tend to have pretty strange personalities. I mean, of course they do. They're literally tech nerds, but there's nothing wrong with that. I personally am very much into technology. Um, of course, not on that scale because I can't read any computer language, nor can I write any computer language. It's just not, it's not for me. But I do admire the ability to do so and I do commend them for working so hard. The tech guru will likely pamper you if you're born and raised here and you're trying to bounce, take you to a foreign country, give you a very comfortable life, but know that his computer is gonna be his second wife. There's you, then there's the computer. I mean, depending on the type of relationship y'all have, it might be the other way around. I mean, I don't know, I can't comment on that. <laughs> But I mean, this is a very stable relationship typically because financially things are very much in order. Now, as long as you all get along, can understand each other's sense of humor, actually have fun together, there's no reason why the relationship will not be fruitful. Now for this particular episode, this is our last one and my personal, well, current favorite. Let me see my current favorite, the dream day. Now this dream bay is literally the speckiest of the specs. Your full spec. And I don't know, do they say this in America? I like literally only hear this in Nigeria, but like basically your spec, I think they do actually. Like your spec is your specification. Like basically everything you want in a guy you will find in dream bay. Dream bay is literally like the most beautiful. And like when you see dream bay, and you see him in a crowd of people, people are typically in awe of how Dream Bay looks. Dream Bay has a lot of star power. Dream Bay is sincere, loving, treats you like a princess. Dream Bay makes you feel like the only woman in the world, or girl. I mean, I guess it depends on your age, innit? Dream Bay takes things to a different level and reminds you that love exists and you are worthy of love. Now, thankfully, I've had very positive dating experiences, like 
for the most part, and I have to give glory to God for that. I have definitely had the opportunity to meet a few people who fall into that category of dream day. And again, I have to thank God for that. But at the same token, and if you all want a video about what I'm about to talk about, drop some white emojis down below. But I would like to express that you as a young woman have to actually rate and value yourself or a young man or a gender non-conforming person. You have to know that you are more than enough. If you actually recognize these things, every single individual on this list that I've just highlighted <laughs> will respect you and love you the way you deserve to be loved. I'm speaking from experience. See, I really rate myself extremely highly and I don't allow people to talk to me anyhow, nor do I allow any and any person, as Nigerians will say, into my life. So now because I'm a woman, I'm going to speak specifically to women. Sorry to everybody else who's watching who's not a woman, but my fellow women, please value yourself. Please do something with your hands, make something of yourself. That way, when you enter a relationship, you are an asset. And even if whoever you're with is earning significantly more than you are, because you're independent and you can care for yourself, they're not going to treat you anyhow. They're going to respect you, prop you up, and even support your endeavors. I'm speaking from experience, but if you guys would like, again, more on that particular topic about how to actually value yourself and attract people that are valuable or high value, then please again, drop some white emojis down below. But that's the whole video. Thank you for watching. Drop some blue emojis if you made it this far. I love you all so much. Um, it's been a long time since I made this type of video and I had a lot of fun making it. I'm sure you can tell, normally I'm an extremely calm person, but you guys can tell I'm a bit excited as I'm talking about this because it's something I find very amusing. Anyway, with all of that being said, thank you, I love you. Please thumbs up this video, it's super important. I need this video to get like 10K likes. Please comment down below, let me know what other types I didn't mention. Please share this video with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever can be least, subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you so much. God bless you and thank you for always supporting me. You're the absolute best. See you in the next video. <laughs>